The joke that will never die. Hey, everybody! <sighs> and thus begins the moment in which I throw a very good friend of mine under a bus. Last Saturday was Spin Fest, which if you don't know new people, we have a monthly circus social where you can learn all this crazy circus stuff. Come out and join us in Richardson, Texas at Eastside Plaza. All the information on our website, go look it up yourself. I'm busy talking. Wow. Uh, room just went <laughs> But uh, I need to shout out a good friend of mine. Steampunk Dan. There he is. Steampunk Dan has been learning to unicycle. He is becoming an operator of a one-wheeled death machine. I've been through this process myself. I know that parts of you hurt you cannot imagine. For legal reasons. But I wanted to shout you out because I watched you bravely almost kill yourself over and over and over and over and over. And finally, he walks up to me and says, does this look abnormal to you? I want to stop and take a moment and remind you he's holding a unicycle. It's important to the story. Because I look down and the tip of it is swollen and bulging on one side. It's going to blow out at, one, at any minute. And I say to him, don't let anybody ride on that thing. I say, you need to put that away before someone gets hurt. And he very sadly sort of shuffles off and, well, puts it back where it belongs. I also understand you've gotten that thing checked since. Thank heavens there was a professional that could look at it. <laughs> Later in the afternoon, after we'd been playing and doing nonsense all day, we're all standing around in a circle talking about all the really cool stuff we're working on personally, you know, whether we're juggling knives or learning to unicycle or any of the other craziness. We've got some new stilt walkers out there. Uh, thank you. Uh, as, as we started talking about all this, he very powdily steps forward and says, and I was a unicyclist right up until I broke my wheel. I lost it at this point and I had to give him a piece of my mind. And, and this is the part where I, I pull up the bus and say, I'm sorry, because I'm now going to repeat the conversation in detail. I turned around and said, don't you have a very pretty girlfriend? And he said, yeah. And I said, if you're very good, do everything right. Doesn't she sometimes play with your noodle? And he said, yeah. <laughs> And I said, if you act like you do sometimes, she don't touch her noodle at all, does she? And he got the sad unicyclist face. And he said, no. I said, but you still like it when someone plays with your noodle, right? He's like, this isn't about my noodle, is it? And it was like a light came on for the first time. It's unbelievable. No, and it wasn't about unicycling either. It was about the slight difference between what you're currently doing and who you currently are. It, it doesn't matter whether or not you've damaged the tip of your unicycle. <laughs> if there's unicycling in your heart by thunder, that's still a part of your identity. I have a problem, a huge mental problem. I am monomaniacally focused on the things I do. My only solution to this is to make everything on my to-do list Absolutely everything I do from the minute I get up and desperately need coffee and I'm going to stab someone in the face to the moment where I fall over from drinking too much vodka every week. I just black out the other six days. You probably didn't know that. But I make all of that about the thing I'm working on, being a, a better clown. The thing is, I don't recommend this as a lifestyle choice. And in fact, I stand before you as something of a cautionary tale for a more balanced life. Just look. It's what I'm trying to say. The thing is, what drives all of that decision-making is passion. Whether it's a passion for unicycle or clown or singing or dancing, I've got news for you. If you're a ballerina, sometimes you have to do laundry. And if you're a juggler, sometimes you have to, well, juggle the books. Probably not too much or you won't be a juggler anywhere but in prison, but you get the idea. There are three or four jugglers in the house going, eh, crap. It was sympathy drum roll. Thank you. I owe him $3 every time that happens. But I'm learning something really, really useful, and that is that those skills still apply to your life. If you get back on track, if they're driven by whatever it is you're working on, you haven't blown it, so don't beat yourself up. And so fix your damn unicycle, do your damn laundry, 
do your damn taxes, and get back to what's important, okay? Here's the thing. Shout like hell if you're a performer. Now, guys, I know what's on your to-do list every day. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. I'm going to show you a couple of people now that are doing exactly what you're doing, and the only difference is they had a different item on their to-do list today. They wanted to come here and show you what they do. Are we ready to see it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the performers up here. Let's show you what we do right here at the open stage. Wow, we just... <laughs> Hang on, we'll try it again. Right here at the open stage. <laughs> now, if we could just edit right there, that, that part where there was nothing and, and just seam it together, no one will ever know how bad that moment stunk. And they'll cheer for the rest of the night so everyone will think it's great, yes? Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, you can't do that. It's on the video, just nod, right? Yeah. <laughs> Close enough, we'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. Yeah.